All right, so I just wanted to hop on and talk about um, something I've started doing that I feel like is going to help me kind of um, meet my goals a little bit better this year. Um, so I've talked about this a little bit in some other videos, but I am a PhD student and I've kind of been struggling to stay on track with um, kind of keeping up with my work and my studying and then just kind of also, I guess kind of doing some other things to kind of keep my life on track, <laughs> I guess. And so, you know, kind of like most people before the beginning of the year, um, I had kind of set some goals for myself and what I'm trying to do this year that's been different um, in other years because I have never been able to stick to any goals really very well um, is I found this habit tracker um, and I can put a link to it. I just found it for free um, online. I just googled I think habit tracker templates um, or something like that and I really liked this one there's lots of different types um, out there but I liked this one because it was really simple um, and so basically you can just kind of mark the month and then um, it's got numbered from 1 to 31 and then I'm not sure if this is what it's meant to do but I just wrote in where it says day I just kind of put a letter for the day of the week and so the SS is Saturday Sunday um, and then this is February, so we're missing a couple of days, but I don't know. I just wanted to kind of talk about how I've been using this and how it's kind of evolving. One thing that I'm trying to do this year that I think is going to work pretty well for me is to not feel so stuck in the habits that I've set for myself and the goals. Like I want to achieve certain goals, but at the same time, I need to be realistic. And one thing I've already realized this year is I was a little bit too ambitious and I even thought I was pulling myself back um, a little bit this year um, because I tend to get ambitious and I'll, I'll get these spurts of like really feeling motivated and I'll want to do a million different things and then that motivation lasts, you know, maybe a week um, and then I end up just feeling kind of overwhelmed and locked into these obligations. So that's one thing just over the course of the last few years that I've noticed, like when I feel those spurts of motivation, instead of just jumping right into a million things and then kind of getting locked in and feeling overloaded is I just kind of make note of all of these things that I want to do and then just kind of look realistically and just start with maybe one or two of them. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I just want to start. So this was my habit tracker for January and I'd actually started in December I don't know where my December one is but um I started in December just to kind of like I wanted to kind of work my way up to January see what was going to work and what wasn't um I also have a planner that I've been using and that was going pretty well for a while but I'll talk about that maybe in another video for now I just want to kind of focus on the habit trackers um but yeah so I just kind of like thought about what I want my daily routine to be like and what habits do I want to focus on. And even when this, when I wrote this out, um, I knew that there were some habits that I was going to prioritize over others. And some of the others, I knew I wasn't going to do them every single day. Um, but I just wanted to keep track of how many days I was doing them and, you know, just having them on there kind of keep certain things on my mind. Um, so one of my goals was to kind of become a better gardener. I've always wanted to be able to garden and grow food. I don't know, realistically, maybe that's not for me because I've tried it several times. So that was one of my check plants. I had some plants growing and then it just kind of tapered off by the end of the month. Everything really tapered off by the end of the month, to be honest. Um, I was getting up before 5 a.m. I was getting 10,000 steps a day. Um, and then I missed that one day and I was actually on like 140 day step streak. Like I'd gotten 10,000 steps every day for 140 days. And then one day I didn't get my 10,000 steps in the morning and I just assumed I would get them throughout the day. Forgot to focus on it and, uh, yeah, ended up only getting like 93.70. So it broke my step streak. <laughs> And then I, you know, I tried it. I'm like, okay, it's okay. Cause I broke it. It's fine. Um, 
I'm sorry, this is going to be a rambling one, but you know, if you want to stick with me, stick with me. But, um, so yeah, the 10,000 steps was one and working from home has been a little tough for me. Um, kind of being able to be consistent with my work and I wasn't really good at setting myself like work hours. Um, and so that was one thing I wanted to do. And also since I'm getting my PhD, my work and my studying kind of overlap, but I wanted to make sure um, that I devoted some time specifically to studying. Um, so that's what that is. And then I wanted to kind of make, I wanted to vlog initially like daily, but then I, that was like my original goal in December. And then I stepped away from that because I, I don't really feel comfortable, I guess, putting that much of myself out there on the internet just yet. Um, but I decided to go ahead, I wanted to go ahead and start posting videos to my YouTube that, you know, maybe are useful to people. Um, another goal that I have is to, I would like at some point in the near future to um, compete in a bodybuilding competition. And so... I don't think I'm going to be quite ready for that. They start ramping up in April and this summer. Um, I was hoping to try to train and be ready by April, but I just, I don't see that um, happening right now with my school and workload. But what I wanted to do was to kind of start creating some habits that will make that easier whenever I am ready to do that. So one of the things was I wanted to, on top of my 10,000 steps, so that's kind of one of the things that kind of goes into that is just staying active every day. Um, and then logging my workouts, I wanted to do a second workout. I had this kind of like training program thing that I had started in the past. I'm like, well, let me go ahead and do these exercises. Um, and then I just, I got really sore after my first one. And then, um, yeah, that just didn't end up happening. So I was like, you know what? Let me just focus on my steps. Let me focus on logging food. And for the logging food, um, as of right now, I'm not following a specific diet. Like I'm not trying to hit any certain number of macros or calories or anything like that. Like this one was just to get me in the habit of getting in my fitness pal and logging my food and that's basically what this one turned out to be is I wasn't actually doing those intense workouts um but I started just trying to do something every day so I added this later on squats wall sit and plank and so I was doing that every day and here I logged my reps or this would be the time um and then if I logged it into my fitness pal I marked it up here so that's what that is so I just wanted to get used to doing a little bit um, and then making sure I put it in my fitness pal so I can keep track of everything that I'm doing. And obviously I just got way off track with logging my food. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so this was kind of helpful for at the end of the month for me to really step back and think about what are my goals for this year? What is stressing me out? What habits would help me? be less stressed and be able to reach those goals and which goals do I really want to focus on. So I read this for February and um, I do, I think it'll be beneficial overall for me to wake up early um, because if I don't wake up early, I end up sleeping in and I feel like I've lost some of the day. So just setting like a time um, to get up. And so far I have my alarm set for 4.30. The plan is to try to get to the gym by 5.00 and get as many steps in as I can. And I reduced my steps number because to get 10,000 steps, it was taking me about an hour and a half at the gym. And then if I didn't get them in at the gym, you know, there, there before that day that I didn't get them in, there was definitely several days that like at the end of the day, I'm like, oh my gosh, I've got to get like 1500 steps in, you know, um, and so I'd have to be like walking around my house for 10 or 15 minutes and, you know, and then I just realized I'm like, I don't want to spend an hour and a half at the gym in the morning. An hour um, is good for me. And I just thought about realistically, if I'm on the treadmill for an hour, it gets me at about 7,000 steps and then I'll get the other thousand steps at some point throughout the day. Um, I work at my desk, so I don't, I'm not walking around a whole lot. So 
my average if I'm not going to the gym and actively trying to get more steps in is about 1500 steps a day um, so yeah so I'm like you know what 8,000 steps is what's gonna work for me right now I'm still getting up I'm still being active um, you know it seems good for me and it's working out because um, the one of the classes that I'm taking right now they post uh, it's online and they post video lectures and so that gives me like I'm up in the morning I'm getting my steps I'm watching my videos for my class getting that out of the way and I also have like some news and stuff that I watch so um, it's working out really well so far if I'll get up and do it so today I did and actually I can mark that off because I have 8100 steps and I also found that the different colors <laughs> I don't know I like the different colors um, and so that's been something that I like doing um, getting it organized and getting it filled out with the different colors um, yeah and so I'm just I've, I've been trying to get a routine put together and I've had several different morning routines that I've worked with and just none of them have completely stuck so I'm really trying to get a solid routine to stick to at least until I finish my PhD um, and I think I'm getting close to getting something that's going to work out pretty well. So yeah, I get up, you know, I kind of get ready, go to the gym, get my steps in, come back, make a cup, make a cup of coffee, and then um, I'll do my 25 squats, and then I'll do a 60 second plank. I went ahead and took the wall sit out because I'm like, you know what, I don't want to do it. Let me just do the squats and the plank for this month, and then log my workout right away. That way I'm getting into my fitness pal. Um... I've upped my goal for studying because I really want to get my classwork out of the way. I messed up last semester and I put off a bunch of my studying until the last minute and it, it was just terrible. So, and my boss right now, we're kind of at a slow place at work where she wants me to focus on doing well in my classes right now. I have a great boss um, that's really like helps me with trying to get this done. Um, so yeah, so my focus, at least for February, I really want to get caught up and ahead in all of my classes as much as I can. Um, and then for, like, it kind of overlaps, but there are certain specific things that I want to spend at least a couple hours a day working on my job just to kind of keep up. If I, my job is kind of hard to stay consistent with because we depend on kind of like data coming out at different times and you know reports are due at different times so it's kind of like it ramps up and it slows down and I'm one of those that procrastinates until something is due and so what I'm trying to do to set a specific two hours every day to work on something is to keep me consistent at working on things throughout the week throughout the month so that when it comes time to these reports are due this data comes out that I'm ready and it I'm not you know kind of you know not working on much for you know days and then all of a sudden I'm working like 12 hours you know trying to get this done I want to try to make it more consistent so that's kind of my goal with that I've already put in some work time today um I do I have been enjoying posting videos on YouTube um and this is one of those that I may or may not kind of stick to every day um but I want to try to do a little bit of content every day on that um so this is that one hour of today is making this. Um, I do want to try to log food. So basically I've put the ones that aren't as important to me down here. Uh, I do want to try to log my food every day just to, you know, kind of get on that. One thing that I don't have set that I think will help me a lot is to have like an evening routine. I don't really have a set evening routine. I do generally go to bed pretty early at around the same time but I think I need to instead of just like normally I eat I wait and I eat pretty late and then I just kind of pass out after that um but I want to try to get like a set routine doing that of kind of like reflecting on my day getting this filled out looking at my schedule for tomorrow being ready for the next day um and then really I should have had this up here because whenever I get done with my workout before I jump into work, I normally, I have this journal that I actually really like and I might do a video on it. Um, 
so I tried to spend five to ten minutes kind of um, filling out these prompts in this journal and it's really nice they have like a quote and then it has kind of like a question and you know I it's been really nice so I tried it I that's one of my goals too is to stay consistent with this and so far I have I've filled it out I think every day this year so far um, but yeah um, so that's just what I'm doing right now those are kind of my February habits that I'm gonna try to stick to and track and um, yeah hopefully by sticking to these um, I want to try to have my life a little bit more together by the end of the month and um, hopefully going into the summer I'll have these habits set in so I can continue kind of working this summer I'm really gonna start the push for my dissertation proposal and and all that so I really want to have a good kind of schedule um, put into work um, I'm also going to show you something that I'm doing to try to keep track of my study hours and things like that so I think I'm going to do a recording on my phone to show you an app that I've been using for that that I found to be pretty helpful so I will um, get off here and do that like I said I'll, I'll try to find this and put the link to this in the description if you want to download this and use this um, but yeah um, I will hop on my phone real quick. Okay, so this one at the bottom left with the little piggy bank thing, is this hours tracker um, is what I've been using lately to uh, track the time that I'm spending studying and doing other tasks and things like that. Um, and so I really like it. Like, it's super simple. I tried a couple of these. Like, I downloaded a few um most of them you can try for free and they just have like limited amounts of um, things you can track and, and things like that. And so I tried a few of them and this was by far my favorite. Um, and so basically I've got three different tasks here. I think if you get the free version, you can only have two jobs. And this is kind of made for people that do like contract work um, where they have to track their own hours, you know, for uh, you know, jobs and, and things like that. But um, I found it pretty useful for my purposes. So um, right here, you can, uh, it's hard because you can't see where I'm pointing, but um, up there at the top, it says YouTube on the clock. So before I started working on this, um, I went ahead and clocked in um, to my YouTube work. And so yeah, I mean, I'm not going to go too much. I may do another video where I kind of go into how all of this stuff works, but it's super easy. Um, you can clock in, you can clock out, you can adjust, you know, your clock in time. I clocked in at 1057, but I could change it to something else if I want to. Um, you know, you can clock out, you can take a break if you want to just like, instead of stopping that. Any, anyway, anyway, there's a lot of stuff you can do and it's super easy. And mostly I just kind of clock in and clock out. And sometimes I do the breaks. I haven't been the best at keeping up with it, but like I said, my goal for this month is really to try to get consistent and work at the same time, study at the same time, things like that. And so, yeah, so I've got a different one for studying. And if I wanted to start studying, I would just hit clock in or that start at if I want to put a different time. Um, and then work is the same thing. So I said I've worked to date. You can hit the little I button to see like how much, you know, you've worked on different days and different times. So today, this morning, I worked from 7.30 to 10. Um, and yeah, like this would be really good for people that, you know, work different jobs and things like that. And I actually paid, um, the free version had quite a bit, um, but you could only it would only store like so much data, but I mean, the free version would totally work if you just want to, if you want to have like a separate spreadsheet and like once a week track, you know, put the values in a spreadsheet um, and then delete the entries off of this because it only hold like 21 entries or something like that. Um, but once it got full, it set up a pop-up box that was like, hey, you know, you're kind of full. You can either delete your previous entries or um, pay for the upgraded version um I wonder if it shows I don't know how much I can't find how much I paid but it wasn't a lot it was um I want to say it was like $9.99 and it was a one-time payment so um I was like yeah like that that will definitely work for me a one-time payment 
so um yeah i <laughs> Not to ramble too much about this, but I really like this app. Um, it's been really helpful for me to see how much time I'm actually spending studying and working on different things. So yeah, if you're trying to kind of get a feel for how your day is going and um, kind of like the progress that you're making on your different goals and things, I would highly suggest doing something like this habit tracker and um, this app. And don't be too hard on yourself. That's my biggest thing because I'm kind of a perfectionist and that's kind of what's held me back before is like trying to make everything perfect and, you know, just see what, what you're doing and what works for you and just try to make little adjustments here and there. And don't get discouraged if you don't like meet all your goals or fill in every box every day or, you know, just try to try to do your best. So I guess that's uh, all I have for now.